Hey beautiful, it's Miss Nikki and I want to share with you today my Carpe Diem Black Speckle Planner. And I was setting up my planner for January 2020 when I realized that I never showed you my January 2019. And it's just ironic that this is the same planner that I wanted to use for this January 2020. So let's get started. So here is the setup. That inside pocket always gets me <laughs> in a creative mode. This kit that was used here is from Coco Daisy. Again, this is from January 2019. Uh, if you check back with um, Coco Daisy, you may be able to go to their website and get some of the dashboards and stuff if you do like this, if you like this print. Now, I thought this was absolutely gorgeous. There is a video that I did on the unboxing of this kit. And to see what I did with it and to not even go back to this after January, I thought was pretty funny. Because this kit went perfectly with my black speckle planner. Even my Coco Daisy pen is perfect with this planner and I'm actually leaving this pen in and I'm going to be using it once again with my January 2020 setup. Now as I was looking through getting ready to take everything out I was noticing many of the dashboards actually could be used again so I may actually try to figure out a way that I can incorporate some of these dashboards and pages into my new planner. But back to this little side pocket here. I don't keep a lot here compared to many that I've seen, but I like to store my paper clips here. This is a paper clip that I made. And here's one that came from Coco Daisy which is so cute, I'm definitely going to use it again. Here's one, these are some roses that I got from, some felt roses I got from Amazon. And I just, just made them a little pretty. Turned them into some paper clips and just added a little decoration like to this one. I was just trying out something and I actually like it. I am a nail tech and I should say I was and I had these Coco Chanel embellishments for nails and since I'm not currently doing other clients I am like so intrigued on how I can repurpose my rhinestones and all of these embellishments because they are absolutely gorgeous and I don't wear a lot of that on my nails as you see but when I was servicing clients that is definitely something that I love to do so here are some more um, paper clips that I made and this was really like my first try of trying to make pretty paper clips and this is just a tag that I made out of some um, scrapbook paper. Here's another one. You can see I was really <laughs> just trying to see what I could do. And I actually used many of the things that I already had on hand. But this polka dot ribbon, I got that from Amazon as well. And I'll try to find it again and put a link in the description box below if you're interested. But I did get like a box of assorted colors of ribbon that I was able to make um, many different um, paper clips and bowls and things out of. Okay, so my word of the year for 2019 was courage. The choice to confront uncertainty. Fearless and fabulous is the way I wanted to approach the new year. One little word. 
and I can't say that I beat my um, fears but many of them I have many things that I did want to do for the year 2019 I was able to accomplish it might take a year it might take a day but what's meant to be will always find a way this is something that I saw somewhere and I had this in another planner and I just wanted to put it in my new planner of the year which is funny because coming back to seeing my planner for 2019 it's reminding me of many of the goals that I set many of them that I have accomplished and some that I just kind of forgot about but I love this setup so much and I love making goals for the new year and I see how the two came together well in this planner and I'm definitely going to do some of the same things in next year so let's see here is my monthly view for January. And I'm looking at these 3D stickers. I think I even stopped doing this. But I love the look of those 3D stickers. And I just used some little, let's see if I have it right here. I do. There are some pop dot adhesives. And I got 528 from Amazon and I don't think I even paid five dollars for these but that's what I have behind these and since they come in these cute little squares it was easy to attach those there this page I use to keep track of the birthdays for the people that I care about and um that I usually send like a birthday card or something to or at least a, a call or a text but I wanted to keep track of that because I'm not on my social media accounts on my Facebook enough to get all of my um, alerts. But anyway, here is a little fold out that I created on one of my dashboards. And I am really enjoying how this came out. And it's on, back, on the back of a... Um, pocket folder that I created again from the dashboards that come with the Coco Daisy kit this first part of my planner I kept for meal planning I try to meal plan because for one it try it kind of eliminates the whole what am I going to cook for dinner and it helps me to do my grocery shopping so I'm not doing a lot of buying things that I already have or getting ready to fix something and the item isn't even here that I need to fix like burgers and then I don't have any buns. You know, things like that. So I highly suggest meal planning if you're not doing it. So um, one of the other things I wanted to mention is if you do meal plan, try to save your meals somewhere so if it's digital or if you like paper like me because you can always refer back you don't always have to it's 30 days in a month if you are rotating your meals it's not going to get blase and you know just the same old thing because you are incorporating new things you're using some of the old menus the old meals and if your family is loving them then you know you might as well fix it again and in most cases most of us pretty much eat the same things over and over okay let's see here's some of my food related goals no or low carbs more fruit movie night snack stand i did do well with the no and low carbs more of the low i should say i did well with the low carbs the more fruit but the movie night snack stand i didn't get that completed and i'm glad i saw this because i can go ahead and get that done i actually did get the movie night snacks but i didn't set up the stand the way i had envisioned it here are just some um, little insert cards that I made from um, scrapbook paper. And these came from my other kit from the Planner Society. 
this one this new year rejoice evermore this is this is pretty cool last year one of my goals here are some of my goals find a church family game night family movie night family outings and use all my appliances and for the most part i did these i did not find a church here because my family moved so since we've relocated to a new state it's a little bit difficult but the family game night family movie night the family outing and using all my appliances i've gotten much better with using my appliances but um the others the family game night movie night and the outings we have seemed to be incorporating those a little bit more we've always done them but it was the consistency that i was after so let's see this little um paper clip i got in a set from i'm gonna say amazon because that's pretty much where i get everything but i love it first of all it has the exclamation point and it just seemed like it kind of went with these little markings and i have to say that this kit really inspired me to do more with the ephemera and i this is what i would call fake ephemera which is perfectly fine to me it's just the markings it uh, looks like some old paper used paper stained paper and i i love incorporating that into my um in my planner whatever is true honest just pure lovely of good report think on these things that's philippians 4 and 8 and here's one of the notepads that came with my coco daisy kit so i'm loving that i like how I was able to make this cute little, it's almost like a little booklet to keep right here in my planner. I think I'll do something like that again. And this is just on the back of some of my Coco Daisy um, free printables. And I was able to just adhere my stickers here. So I don't have to always have my planner bag with me. I can just have my stickers right here that I can get to them when I want them put that back real quick and as you see the the dashboards here are gorgeous and here's a tag that came with coco daisy i just used some two-sided tape which i have this ad tech crafters tape and i just roll it out and i just it, put it on the back so i was able to adhere this on there it probably comes in a pack of four for about five dollars and it seems that um it's something nice to have it's definitely not a necessity you can always buy two-sided tape but that's just so easy and it's so easy to use that i would say just grab that these stickers this came from um victoria thatcher who is who i use most of the time she has free um stickers and weekly plans or weekly weekly setups for your planner and even though they're free i do suggest that you definitely she has a, a link on her page where you can buy her a coffee so give her some kind of donation because it is she's giving them away for free so i think that that is super and once you see some of the um, weekly plans and stickers that she has set up you will see why you should just give give the woman some money <laughs> these other stickers I cannot think offhand and I know that I have recorded it and I hate that I don't remember but I'll try to link it below if I do find it but these are just to encourage me to work out this weekly kit came from Victoria Thatcher and some most of my deco stickers came from a bling bling planner and other shops that i got off of etsy but i think i use the bling bling planner the most again this is victoria thatcher she does excellent work and i just love that you see that this is bambi and i love that this is not really black and white but it has that old school feel i thought that went perfect with this 
ephemera looking set. Here's some old um, cereal boxes. I don't even know if they still have sugar crisp, but kaboom, I don't think I ever even heard of that. But uh, sugar corn pops, I remember all of those. Let's see. Again, uh, what's this girl? Holly Hobby. Oh my goodness. I loved Hobby, Holly Hobby. And my sister cousin had like Holly Hobby everything. The desk, the rocking chair, like everything. It was, oh, we love that. This was created from the free printables that came with, um, or was it? This is part of a dashboard. I cut down a dashboard in order to make this bookmark. And again, I just have some of my uh, sticky notes here. And here's a girl working out. I just love these workout stickers. And these are from Little Golden Books. Susie's new stove. These are so cute. This again is from a um, scrapbook paper pad. And this is the note sheets that came with the, the set. And it looks so nice with the planner kit that I used one of the free printables and the washi that came with the kit in order to decorate this little insert. And I just, again, used that same two-sided tape to adhere those sticker pages in there. Now, this is something that I created, and it's just a little insert. It's, it's like a little pocket envelope. To me, it looks like a pocket door. And I just pull out this little card, and it's just... A little something I came across it says I walk in the presence and consciousness of the Lord all day long his fullness flows through me at all times filling up all the empty vessels in my life I thought it was so nice that I had to write it down and I forgot there's something on the back for the vision is yet for an appointed time though it tarry wait for it that's in Habakkuk 2 and 3 so I was reading this almost every day when I would open up my planner. You see how it has this super cute little pocket right there? I am just really enjoying this. And here is another folder that I created. And these are just some things I was gonna create a, um, a like a picture collage, a collage of some pictures from a trip I had gone on. And this is a little book, a little folder. And I actually had this in um, my day designer. So you see it doesn't actually fit here. That's why I just stuck it in the inside. But this little folder was made out of some scrapbook paper that came in one of the pads. And I was able to just punch some holes in it and... It is going perfectly with my black speckled carpe diem, as well as this kit for January. Coco Daisy, it's almost like she, she knew. And do you see how this matches? Oh, I'm just loving it. Okay. Yeah, I am a planner addict. I love all of the accessories. And these are just my day pages. I try to write a little bit. Um, I was following Joel Osteen on the app and he has a prayer and it's attached to a scripture. So you read the devotion and the scripture that goes to it and then you uh, have a prayer at the end. So I had just been recording the prayer. And this is pretty much how my day, how I feel like my day would go, I should say, like if it were uh, perfect. <laughs> So, of course, these things change all the time. So, these pages, I have a couple little 
things that I inserted here, just some encouragement for like the middle of the month. I am a victor. I am a masterpiece. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations. So you see, like in here, I didn't even write the prayer. But on most days, I was able to do it. But the pages are so beautiful and you get so many. I think she sends like 33 or something. So you have some in case you um, mess up or need more. And here's again a tag that I made from uh, scrapbook paper. Here's that same saying, difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations. Let's see. And here again is part of the dashboard sheets that come and I was able to stick my sticky notes on here that I can use throughout my planner and here are some little um, paper clips that I made from the little die cuts that came with the kit and these little bitty rose gold paper clips they came from Amazon and I just adhered that together with a little tacky glue which I see now tacky glue is my friend here is I think this is called a belly band and this was made from one of the free printables from Coco Daisy enjoy every moment this came from the planner society and here is I'm just being a little creative making a little tuck place here be a light for someone today and here's a little something I wrote I am not less than intimidated or weak I am heavy with God's favor I am dripping with God's goodness I am weighted down with the favor of God I am heavy with expectation fabulous favor again Oh, I'm loving that. And I wish I had been using this more often because I truly did not. Always be humble and kind. Hello, beautiful. This is the beginning of anything you want. I think that's perfect for the new year. Now, this folder I have to share with you because it is a pocket. There's a pocket on both sides. What does it say? All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to us. Here's the cool part. This is like my secret folder. So I have to take this out to open it up. Isn't that so cool? So when I open it up, I can keep like my receipts or things that I definitely don't want to fall out or things that I'm not sharing openly with everyone. So I thought that was really creative and I don't know what happened or where this inspiration came from, but it seemed like once I started putting things together and making the folders and the little tuck pockets and things, inspiration just was coming from everywhere. So I'm loving this and this is definitely something that I'm going to incorporate in, in my future spreads. And here is just my, um, where I have my finances laid out. This sheet came from a, a scrapbook paper pad that I got from Michael's, which is usually where I get my, um, my scrapbook paper pads, Michael's and Hobby Lobby, but I have to say more Michael's than anything. This is Mary Jane McLeod Bethune, and I absolutely adore her. So I keep that right there. I'm going to laminate this and then I'll have it. I'll probably make it so that I can adhere it into my planner as a bookmark I can use on a regular basis. But I created this just because the color matched the planner so much. And it said beauty and love, happiness, and the, the type of font that was used. I just really loved it. So I wanted to incorporate that in here. So I just made this one pocket and I thought that that was a beautiful addition to this. This is my perpetual calendar that came with, um, I believe it came with this planner, but it may have come with a different one. 
So, and here's the other one. It almost like um, sandwiches those in there. And I'm thinking I could possibly have a paper clip here to kind of hold that together. I think that would be a nice addition. But this is something, this planner I love. I love that it has this nice little pocket here that I can put stuff in. And these tassels they came from amazon as well and i got an assortment so they came i probably got like a dozen in beautiful colors that you'll see throughout the year this little um it's like a bookmark and i saw this online and i wanted to see if i could do one for myself and I love how it came out. And this is actually from like some old earrings that I had that I no longer use. So I wanted to make a little decoration for my planner with it. But for some reason, that's not going back in there. But anyway, so I love this. I love the setup. I am really enjoying this Carpe Diem planner. I'm looking forward to setting up for January 2020. I believe this is the only Carpe Diem that I own. And I love how thick the rings are because I was able to get a lot of pages in there with no problem. It's holding up pretty well. But like I said, I've only used it for January 2019. So I am going to start setting up my January 2020 now. And I'm looking forward to showing you how that turns out. So I hope that you enjoyed my look back and flip through of my January 2019. And until next time. Remember to be beautiful because somebody's watching you.